Hey guys, this is Tech It Out, and today we are going to be finding out is macOS Lion still usable in 2019? So, let's get started. So one thing that you immediately notice about older macOS's such as Lion is the classic design, but more importantly, the speed. This is one thing that is incomparable to newer macOS versions because the older ones are much faster. So for example, I've got Finder here, Launchpad, very smooth. Loads apps very fast. Here's the El Capitan installer. Here's the App Store. As you can see, everything is extremely fast on macOS Lion. Okay, so now let's talk about app compatibility. So as you can see, I'm on the macOS High Sierra installer page. So if I click Get, it's going to say, This update requires macOS version 10.8 or later. So as you can see on this about this Mac, it is version 10.7.5 which is build 11G63. Now I was actually able to install the latest version of iTunes, I was just curious to see if it would work, and it actually did work. So some apps are compatible but some are not, so it's going to kind of be a hit or miss with this old macOS version. So more apps that are obviously not compatible is like the Apple apps such as iMovie, as you can see it requires 10.13.6 or later which is not this version, this is 10.7.5. So GarageBand, I assume, is the same way, 10.12 or later. So most of the apps on the App Store, you're going to have a hard time getting to install on macOS Lion. But it is really cool to use and experience the old classic feel and the speed of it, but I would not recommend using it as a daily driver for this reason, because nothing is compatible as far as apps go, at least from the App Store. So now let's go ahead and look at Safari compatibility. So as you can see, we're on the Apple page, the Apple home page, and it's kind of glitching out here, up here at the top, but everything does seem to load as far as I can tell. So we can go to the iMac section. It's kind of, actually it's doing pretty well. So. It's actually doing a little bit better than I thought, so we'll go to the iPad Pro section and see what happens. So, it's not doing anything, it's kind of frozen up. Is it going to stay frozen? It won't scroll. So nothing is loading on the iPad Pro section, but the buy page some stuff is loading as you can see here if I click buy but I can't actually choose what model I want to buy so next page youtube.com so before I have actually gotten the your browser needs to be updated message but right now I'm not actually getting that message so I guess that is a good thing so it seems to be that everything is working so if I go to my channel over here well I guess it's different on here so go to my channel, it does load, videos do seem to work as far as I can tell, so here was a popular one. So it does load, it's pretty fast once you actually get to it, and the only thing is it doesn't let you put it in full screen mode. I do not know what the deal is with that, but it won't let you do it. So most things are pretty up to date on Safari, um, I mean the... Not everything loads, some of these websites don't load all the images especially, but some do, and it seems to be doing pretty good actually, a little bit better than I expected, but the one thing I do like about the older safaris is how fast they are, like they're incredibly fast, at least in my experience compared to the newer macOS High Sierra Safari. I haven't actually tried Mojave yet, so as you can see everything has loaded as far as I can tell. And here's the one spot it gets frozen maybe. Okay, it did load. So Safari does pretty good. It's not as bad as you might think, but it does get hung up in some places. 
So overall, I would not recommend using macOS Lion in 2019. The app compatibility has a lot of issues, many apps are not compatible, and Safari is very slow on newer sites and some things just don't load. So thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, and if you really enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comments below, and as usual, I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.